Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Live from our land of our fathers. This is the Imperial News TV of Queen Helen of Durachak, Elizabeth III. Maraming salamat po sa inyo. Itong episode na ito ng Season 1. Episode 04 will give you a wonderful experience on how the journey towards the foreign land of King and Queen Muhammad Gamar Mamay Hassan Abdurajak, Maria Helen Panolino Abdurajak. We know that I have given you already the introduction and this is not just an ordinary proclamation or what we say broadcast, but this is an information dissemination program of the Queen and King themselves to be able to dispute, refute, and contest the claim of the brother Al Nas bin Abdul Kapar in conspiracy with all the global programmers in relation to the wealth and asset of the entire law of sovereignty and ownership. Queen Helen been guided by Ama Ali, the Prima Fache, as we have discussed yesterday together with the claimant himself, the Supreme Sultan that they have acknowledged, Sultan Fidel V. Ramos, whose power has controlled even up to Vatican, up to the United States of America. I have given you that veracity that I was able to talk to them and acknowledge me. But however, because of the conglomerated conspiracy, as I had been telling you, this is not only them. That is the global conspiracy. And yesterday, I put out the signed documents as handed to the right hand of Professor Noor Miswari Sahiburasad Asgali and all the right hands of the MNLF, Moro National Liberation Front. Lahat ito sila, all of them, all of them had followed the rules of the implementation as given, signed by two head of states, Gloria Arroyo and W. Bush. How they sold us because of our oil and gas, because of our rich natural resources, and that is the primary reason they have put us into war, the continuous killings in Sulu, in the border ESCOM of Sandakan, and even in the very heart of the Raja Sulaiman Sultanate of Maguindanao in Liguas and Mars. I am saying this because unknown to you, you have been the gadgets for election. Every time there is election, money comes from all sides, funders from all over the globe, so that they could benefit in all the assets and properties, in all the heritage accounts, in all the banking instruments, in all 
the conspiracies of the banking system in itself. Have you realized that all of this have been dissected by king and queen? I never slept in my whole life as comfortable as you have until such a time that I know I will be proclaimed with all the world's head of states through the United Nations, through the global supreme command of the royal family. You are all climates against the heir and successor. In this path, we know that our life is already a step towards the grave. Because thousand years, Siroi, Satan operated the human race. He was given the chance to rule, but there is an agreement between God and him that when a woman comes and declared that he has already overstepped into that agreement, then he lose. All of this, Siroi, what we call the followers. They are the one operating right now to really reclaim your soul and bring you to the fire of hell. As I said, laugh at me at the top of your voice. Destroy me, but I am indestructible because I am born as the heir and successor of the heavens, the earth, and below the earth. I have given you the saga, the crusade of the Game of Thrones from 2,000 years, from the time when Cain and Abel contested the love of the Father. And it is carried from generation up to generation. That is still the program of the divinity in all the contending parties are always the direct blood of the true heirs and successors. You have waited for me. You have waited for Raja. And now that we are around, you have intently blinded yourself for blocking us. Why? Because you do not want to surrender what you have stolen from us. I have named after names in my proper attestation for you to see that you have failed indeed the royal family of the divine monarchy. Each one of you would like to be the queen. Be a queen, even in your own house, in your own little palace. You are a queen because you are the mother of your children and the queen of your own property, of your own domain. That is supposedly the queen that follows the rule of law of the divinity. The queen who follows the purity of heart and God, Allah, will bless you. I have encountered so many queens in the past, 
In fact, I have installed and gave them the title. But who are they? What are they? What can they do in the service of humanity? Instead, they have just confined themselves on what knowledge they have that they could benefit comfortably under the protectorate of the Philippine government in the very heart of Malacanang Palace. Conspiracy will never win against the era of the Golden Age. This is the seventh generation that the world, the heavens, the Lemoyan had declared the Golden Age. The seventh, the seventh generation of the Golden Age will make the heavens win because Queen Helen belongs to that generation. September 9, 2009. September 29, 2009. Day by day, I have labored much on how to make my structure fight the entire world. Because as I have made my step towards the highest post of Malacanang, I saw immediately the conspiracy, the bribery, how they have sent a lot to destroy me, to destroy Raja Mamai in favor of the Claimant Sultan. But now, mind you, at that early time in 2009, someone from the office of the president, the shadow government of 490, the Kapatiran ng Espiritual ng Pilipinas, we call them the shadow of all the shadows of the rule of the claims of the Sultanate of Sulu, North Borneo. It has struck into my mind because what they say, what this fellow leader said to me, if Malacanang will honor you and honor Raja Mama, you win. However, they have already made their decision to validate Al Nas bin Abdul Gapar, who killed the brother in 2005. They have killed the elder, just left in the night in the following day death. Because to validate the true heirs and successors, you need to be. Muhammad Ismail Ikram. You have not seen the hands of Allah. You have not seen the guidance of the divinity on how I started this holy mission. Have you seen for yourself the transformation of every time I speak. They are the ones behind me, teaching me how to implement this program. When I went to the office of Malacanang, I knew immediately that I am fighting the Dutch side of the six. Six, six. Why? Because I have seen them. I have seen how they live. I have seen the lifestyle that they have. I have seen how they speak, how they govern, and how they dictate how to kill. Legitimizing the OPAP, the Office of the Presidential Advisor for Peace Process. And I have even written Malaysia about the legal brief of how they implement the killings in Mindanao and Sulu. War 
in the guise of peace, peace in the guise of war. That is OPA. That is even the peace process they have done up to Tripoli agreement using the claim of Ms. Rory and all the armed groups using Malacanang, using Putrajaya, using the head of states of the Islamic nation in their desire to control the oil field because Liguasan Mars is the pipeline, the volcanic vein that extends as far as Saudi Arabia and Kuwait, in Afghanistan, in Borneo, in Brunei, in Batangas. That's how the conspiracy, the hidden wealth being machinated programmed by the black CIA in support for their countries in support for their greed for power and supremacy but now no more my seven makdum elders never never abandoned me from the day that i was born i am prepared as i lay down the documentation in the book of 476, you have to find us, Congress, Senate, DFA, Filconsa, all of you, even you court of the Supreme Court of the Philippines, you are liable to this. Executive Secretary, look into my eye. If you believe that you are one of those chosen to rectify the errors of the past, do it now. Because you are all liable for all the global wars from Ukraine to Russia, from Israel to Palestine at the expense of the poor, the victims of your atrocity, of your greed for power and money, because that is your way of putting down the sovereignty, destruction of the sovereignty, the people in the land. I have sent to you, my big brother, to stop the war. This is not anymore pertaining to the rule of the United Nations. This is now the decision of the queen of the global earth, the global Lemurians below the earth, the global heavenly bodies, the intergalactic power. I call unto you, the father of Bulungan Kalimantan. You know of who I am. Never failed me this time. I am asking you, break the wall of conspiracy. The claim is a claim. No one can claim. I have laid down the structure into you. But you delay, it's up to you. Now, I will be reading to you, most likely, in a separate broadcast. How Gloria Arroyo sold us to the Black CIA. By this you will know that up to now it is carried out into the office of the caretaker president. How they went to the president of the United States with the president by then. You cannot defeat the truth. Truth will always come out and your lie will be the basis of your life to be sentenced. I have done my part. 
precisely I keep on giving documents to Malacanang. But however, because of PGMA, in conspiracy with a brother, and in harmony with the Sultan of Brunei, Sultan of Juhur, Muhammad Fuad Abdullah Kiram, all of you are classmates in the United Kingdom as scholars by the royal family. PGMA knows that. Muniera Pendaton knows that. That's why I made my promise to buy Muniera Pendaton that never should I sell Ligwas on Mars. And it is the same promise that I have with the chief of staff of the MNLF, Kaka Abdullah. If you are with the side of truth, they kill you. They can send a lot of emissaries just to annihilate the real servant to help you have a comfortable life. From September 9, even from August 26, 2009, because I started stepping back to Liguasan in July 2009. This is your way of saying it. You want to control Liguas and Mars? If I was not able to stop the Afghanistan, the Afghan that they have ferried to Clark, war could have erupted again. In Mindanao. And thanks, because I could see the intra chaos and war being staged by the United States of America in conspiracy with a caretaker president who carried out the mandate of PGMA. Now, as I said, she is alive then. Triple justice will be given to you for killing us. Remember what you have done in 2000. Camp Abu Bakar in Mindanao. How you destroyed Mindanao. But yet, all of you top leaders, Congress Senate, the executive, legislative, and the judiciary condoned, tolerated this illegal, this criminal act. And yet, you live in peace? Every time I see you, I can see death because you are the one giving the final step, the approval to put chaos in war. It was the saga, the crusade between Alnas and Gamar. I was even humiliated by those who sided with Alnas, destroyed the moral of Rajamamai so that I will disengage with Rajamamai. But they didn't know that I have committed already with the union in Sulu and Sabah, with the union in the Philippine Island laws. I am bounded to obey the rule of the marriage life. That is the start of my Calvary to defend the grandson. 
Imagine the 14 years that I have. But you people, you detractors, you can just utter bad words because you are under the dominion of Satan, the darkness, the cabal, the illuminati. You know what I have done? I went on going to the Senate, to the Congress, presenting the grandson, presenting the prima facie. But I made up my mind. I have lost all my savings. I have lost all my goals in trying to find a solution. Because Raja Mamai has also nothing. Because the brother has been sufficiently funded by the Sabah government, wherein Muhammad Fuad Abdullah Kiram are the ones being given the share of the Sabah in their claims. That is the claims. That is the, the claim of Sabah, wherein they were able to get something from there because they are the one in conspiracy with the Sabah government, with the Malaysian government. We have known this a long time ago. And Muhammad Abdullah Kiram is the son. And that's why Lola Maria Ilo is in support of this. Because they are the ones being used and abused by the loss of the claim over Sabah. They knew that Raja Mamai has been validated a long time ago, in 1999, when Queen Mama Elizabeth II and Queen Victoria Elizabeth I even went to Kota Kinabalu to meet the grandson. But that is the crime of conspiracy of Mahathir, of Sultan Brunei, of Sakaram Dandai, and the IGP at that time, not to let the grandson face the Queen Mama and the great grandma. They knew the truth. Now, what can you say about the government not knowing what Queen is doing? That is not, I can utter a bad word, but I am not yet. They have the intent. To conceal the truth, pay the media, pay the journalists, pay everyone that would come to me. And I have even documented a journalist calling all those friends of mine not to support me because I cannot release anything. That's how they are. But all of these are documented. All of this. All of this. And you will see this in the Game of Thrones. The throne between the Sultan of Sulu and the climbers. But they didn't know that the winner is the Sultana of Sulu in North Brunei. As it was proclaimed by Black Fatima. You can see that in the future. This is the saga, the crusade on how to enlighten you. All of you in the sectors of the government, the society that has been blocked by the truth and let the lies operate so that they will remain in power and the supremacy to impose the electoral winner to those that they are favored so. So when I started going to Malacanang and they are trying to block me, I consulted Amma Ali. And the same, it was the instruction that I have to proceed to England. With the support of the attorney, in fact, Karina Gregorio, who is the best friend of Gloria Arroyo, who had been trying to release the funds of 10 billion US dollar that had been brought by the Queen Mama Elizabeth II and Queen Victoria Elizabeth I in 1999. And there you will see 
the creation of the Abu Sayyaf. I will be discussing this. So when Gloria and Attorney Karina knows that, with the one in Central Bank, they transferred the funds in Mindanao. And that's the one. Not only that, there is another 9 billion US dollar and another 13 billion US dollar addressed to the king and queen that they have concealed because they want the barn to benefit. How evil you are, office of the president at that. How evil you are in trying to produce forgery. Because accordingly, if Malacanang will favor Rancho Mamay, he must disengage with Queen Helen. That is the conspiracy in itself. So everyone trying to find a way to find a woman suited for Rancho Mamay. And that is the evil movement of the family. Imagine that. Imagine how they could refute, dispute me with the woman that they want to be the wife of Raja. In Mahathir wanted the ex-wife to be together when in fact the ex-wife married the grandson and be with Al-Nash bin Abdul Gapar. The brother married because of the stealing of the identity. So the woman, but accordingly to what I have known, there was no marriage at all. Now, when I have my marriage in Sabbath, they claim again. That's how demonic they are. Because Rajamamai is also al Nas in conspiracy with Malakanya. They can produce documents, and that is the highest crime identity theft misrepresentation forgery in trying to be myself because i know how the family of raja the clan of raja the sankula at that would fight me this is what you are going to see because i have documented properly how you have destroyed the succession from Jamalul Alam to Jamalul Kiram and how you destroyed Ama Ali. I will see to it that the world will have to rectify the historical account of the royal kingdom of Lupasu. I went to Hong Kong together with Raja because I wanted to get my visa. First, we went to England Embassy, the Great Britain Embassy. But what they say, wait. But when we came back, we have known that Gloria made a call. You are the president. You can call and block me. Fine. Thank you. So we decided with the help of the religious sisters, I went together with Raja to Hong Kong. And with our attorney, in fact, brother, I just don't want to mention your name because I wanted to lay down this process by process. You are still alive. And the rest of them are dead now because, as I told you, not mine to give justice, but God himself. So I want to Hong Kong 
when we were in Hong Kong, we were followed again. That's how conspiracy is. We have nothing in our pocket except with the faith that we know we can get it. That's where we were trying to seek the support of the ground, but the ground were covered and was stolen again to be back to the ARMM and the claimants, sultans. I will be giving you the clear impact of all this because from there you will see how the top level maneuvered, machinated, and intently covered King Mamai and Queen Helen in favor of the brother and the ex-wife and the wife and all who will become the wives and so many wives. And this you will see how they have made the process and make the barn to be able the final to really block the queen of the Philippine Islands. When we were in Hong Kong, that was the first mission offshore wherein I have really to tell the world how difficult it could be walking with nothing that I have to sacrifice more. Yes, we were poor. You are rich, but you are getting it from our heritage asset. You people in the government, you officials of the top levels and military, you do not know how hard it is for the queen to validate from day one from the code of 999 versus the 666 as instructed as the implementer, President Gloria Arroyo, under the banner, the mandate of ex-president Fidel B. Ramos. I have my documents. I can prove it. Besides, I am the queen to rectify the errors of the past, to give justice to each and every one of you. When I was there, we have no enough that even our meal required. But no one can stop me. I need to find the truth. My desire to, to reach England with Raja is really very, very intense. That I have really to suffer the most of it. Living in the park. Sleeping in the park because we have nothing to pay our hotel. But you, claimants, you have more than enough because you are being well fed by the government. And this is the thing that I'd like to give to the family of the, the claimants themselves. The government itself, the tan themselves, how they are being paid, paid rather, by the government of Malaysia. Because of that claim, Gloria Arroyo and Muhammad Fuad Abdullah Kiram are classmates in England. So they knew what to do. They were given that way how to really be blocking the truth. They have killed Ama Ali many times in protecting me. The Prima Fache. This is not anymore the game of the general. This is the game of the spirit. Because all of you, I have my book. 
I have my legitimate documentations and I have my research that could really make you, that could hammer you, that you are on, on the other side of the fence. We were denied in Hong Kong. The embassy there just informed me that, sorry, you have to go back to the Philippines. Wow. Thank you. So I made that as my landmark. Why PGMA trying to make me, stopping me not to reach Buckingham? Because the secret could be unraveled with the Queen Mother. I went as far as Macau to have the visa, but it's the same. Someone is tailing me not to procure anything. Now they have poisoned the mind of Kuya Rancha. We were there celebrating our Christmas, our New Year with nothing. Only the tears. What have I done? What have I decision I made? I am already at the height of my career. I'm earning so much to help my family and Liguas and Mars. But that is not what the elders wanted me. So this mission is the severity of the power between the dark and the light. Kuya Raja suffered more than enough. We have put ourselves into the feast of all those claimants. I have all of those posted in the internet and from there you will see who they are. Yet, you really give them the highest respect. Malaysia, Philippines, Indonesia. You give him. But you do not know that it was him who advised me that you cannot win because Ramos is the Sultan of Sulu in North Borneo. That's where they started the Sabah standoff. I have my records. You cannot defeat me on that. Besides, I have spoken to Fidel V. Ramos. He instructed me even to pattern my government either to Brunei or the more lasting. I have even sent my emissary regarding the BDO account, the 443 trillion. And he knows I am not stopping. From there, they transferred the account. Where? In Malaysia? Where? That is the reason that all of you are liable. Why do you have to do something when I just asked about it? I don't claim. I just want the shit. Slowly but surely, I am gaining my stand, my legitimacy. Why? They have bombarded me a lot. A pain, a lot of destruction, and even succumb to war just to weaken my foundation. It is not mine, but yours. You lose, I win. Because in every year, I am gaining my crown as given by our forefathers. Lee Morian has been with me from the day I was born. Or even before I was born, I have been given already 
what I need. It is just now the art on how to recover them all. Because the sovereign territory of the global earth belongs to the creator himself. That's why I was challenging each and every one of you. For those who do not like to get the SIC, fine. We have still the process on how. All of those that would like to remain under the authority of the Security and Exchange Commission, you are just the barangay. Where is Queen in comparative to what you are doing? Uh-uh. What kind of mind do you have? Precisely, I am hitting Malacanang because he is the one liable, the one seated there. From the time they have ousted the president and that president just walk out. But those that duplicate will also be liable. Are you still alive? Then come out. Because all of you will be litigated by the law of the sovereignty. And that is the Lupasug Empire. Now they were, and these people that are just saying things without even recognizing that they will be quoted. Since 1100, Sulu Kingdom is already standing tall throughout the world. And that is the one that you should realize. Why I am back? Why I am here? They have really blocked me. They have really put me into test. I had been in Macau, shivering, because I need to extend my visa, so as Raja. I have experienced how the plane in Macau got delayed because I forgot I am carrying the Philippine passport to enter Malaysia. We should have a return ticket. But because of Queen's ability, and I have already some problems to face, but I thank the Hong Kong authorities because seeing the Queen, seeing the Queen in the internet, they have given me that respect. I told you, legitimacy is very important. And from there, from the time that I have started my mission, everywhere I go, I know how to deal with everything. That you accuse me, that you block me, that even the time when you put Raja into difficult situation after that you failed to kidnap him you put a case on him queen has the ability to fight each one of you besides i am trained to speak for the truth and the truth will always win against the lie that you put out From Macau, we proceeded to Kuala Lumpur. From there, you will see how difficult it could be for me. Going from one place to the other with nothing on the pocket. I have already exhausted my savings. I have sold out everything that I have. In trying to find the solution, how could I defend Raja Mamai when in fact it is being claimed already by the brother? 
How could I defend Raja Mama? He's the legitimate one wherein all the head of state support him, feed him, give him a lot of money, arrest all the non-documented Filipino in Sabah, and give to him the money to steer war and chaos in Mindanao and Sulu. How could I fight you? And that is the one that driven me to find the solution. That's why I went as far as Hong Kong, supposedly onward to England. But you failed me, PGMA. You failed me, all of you. Nika, you were there. Nonetheless, I told you, I would always fight in relation to what I need to prove because I am sent to rectify your mistake and to be able to live in peace and harmony. I must to win. I entered Malaysia. Although I had been traveling quite a lot in the past, but that could be different now, bringing Raja Mamai. You have questioned him? It is the Queen's program that you have to bear in mind. I have told you immigration on how to do it. At that early time, I knew already that I can beat each one of you. I even traveled to China alone, traveled to different country alone in trying to find the solution on how to defeat the claim versus the heir and successorship, the law of sovereignty and ownership. We presented ourselves as someone very glow on the ground so that I could see for myself the illegal activities of each and every one that are claiming to be the true sultan of Sulu and North Borneo. I started in Maguindanao. I went through the sultanate of Sulu and North Borneo, gaining all those crowns. Because I know I have to make my platform on how to save each and every one being oppressed and suppressed by the core of the politician and the military as powered by the programmer seated in Malacanang. I am not going to apologize for bringing this because only this way you will know that you are contributory, you are attributory to the killings of Sabah Standoff, killings of Sambuanga, 44 Sapmen, all of this, Marawi Seeds, Paglas, and even the medical tyranny that you have imposed globally. Without us. I'm sure you have been living in hell all the time. Wherein the poor becomes poorer, the rich become richer because of the conspiracy of the office of the top ranks of the military, the top ranks of the government, because the ones seated are the one program. You don't win in the election at all. You are being programmed to be winner. That is politics, the highest business of the world. Politicians are being paid. Now, if you continue to have your barangay election, I am telling you, you will shoulder, you will inherit the crime of your predecessor, and you will be liable. And where is your budget anyway? They say that they can release the funds. Now I am asking you, all of you that have been given the authority from the office of the queen, move now. You have the authority. Move now. 
if I don't talk to you because I am talking to you in Lemoria, I know what to deal with you. That's why I had my early speech today. I am calling my father from Bulungan, from Kalimantan. Stand now. Because all of us are called to defend the new generation. The new world order of the Cabal or the world order as commanded by the Queen of the Universal Magnum. That is the two different path that you are. Because live in purity, live in humility, wherein from that the purity of soul, of speech, you can have that. It's not a life of glory that I have. It is a life full of crosses because I have to do my job. I have to break the walls of conspiracy. Now, every day is a process. Every day, this is the mind breaking. We're in the Holy Spirit, the one there up using my brain. It is also tiresome. This human flesh also craving for comfort. But I have no choice but to tell you the truth and nothing but the truth. Can you simplify the process? The process with all simplicity. Surrender and give it back to the owner. And who is the owner? God himself, not Siroi. Now you tell me I am talking in a high polluting words. Not at all. Not at all. Divine justice is being given to the different lands now. Look at Israel. Look at Palestine. God saved Mindanao from the flooding of blood to be sacrificed. Do not ever encounter again such because Queen had tried her best to stop the war in Mindanao. And that is my crusade. And I keep on saying to the entire world, once I stop the war in Mindanao in Sulu, I can stop the war in the whole world. Because the whole world is governed by cabal, by Illuminati, by ISIS. And this is the one that we put into demarcation in all the states. United Nations has been poisoned by the cabal. The World Bank has been poisoned by the cabal. But we are trying to rectify the process. That's why there is a new financial system being instituted. I am inviting you. I am not forcing you to believe in me. But look beyond what is going to happen to you. The little knowledge that you have, imposing what you want. You are just there. All of you people, you are just there. Go ahead by all means. Because I can make you just be there. And I will just have my people be the one to benefit from what I am doing. I am offering you already the solution. But you deny me of that solution that I am giving you. Because you have your own fixated mind. You have your own belief. You have your own belief that you do not want accept defeat at all costs I am asking you now whether you like it or not God has made up his mind to save those that would like to be saved salvation is not for you if you deny him 
go back to the one who created you. But if you continue defying me, I have no more chance to be bleeding to you, begging you. But instead, I will let you see the crime that you have done so that justice, we can already leave you behind under the dominion of Satan. You have underestimated Queen. You have put Queen at your own thumb. You have spread it that I am a nobody. But out of that, I thank you. Because I know God bless me more. Allah protects me more. So that every day of my life will be dedicated in the name of truth. So that justice will be served. Truth is God. And God is truth. I'd like to tell you, my brothers and sisters, learn the art of living behind the lies, live in truth, and harmony and peace will be yours. Good morning, good evening, assalamu alaikum.